Hey there, movie buffs and nostalgia seekers. DYZY equals A. Do you remember those cozy evenings when you'd curl up on the couch with a bowl of popcorn, ready to be transported to a different era by the flickering images on your TV screen? Ah, the magic of cinema. DY. Today, I want to take you on a trip down memory lane and see if you've ever ventured back in time to 1978. That's right, I'm talking about the iconic movie Pretty Baby. DYZ. Did you ever watch this timeless classic? If you did, I'd love to hear your stories and cherished memories. Whether you were enthralled by the captivating characters, moved by the storyline, or simply enchanted by the vintage charm of it all, Pretty Baby had a way of leaving an indelible mark on its viewers. Who was your favorite character? Was it the young Brooke Shields in her breakthrough role, or perhaps the enigmatic Louis Mal who directed this masterpiece? Maybe you had a soft spot for the stunning cinematography that transported you straight to the streets of New Orleans in the early 20th century. Come on, don't be shy. Share your fond recollections, and let's relive those cinematic moments together. D-Y-O-E-Y now, as we embark on this journey, I'm about to sprinkle in some fascinating and perhaps lesser known tidbits about Pretty Baby that will make you appreciate this gem even more. So, grab your popcorn once again, sit back, and let's dive into the enchanting world of 1978 seconds Pretty Baby. Let's uncover some hidden gems together, shall we? D-Y-Z-Y equals a -R. Pretty Baby, a 1978 film directed by Louis Mal, is a thought-provoking exploration of the controversial theme of child prostitution set in the early 20th century. The story revolves around Violet, a 12-year-old girl played by Brooke Shields, who grows up in a brothel in the Red Light District of New Orleans. The film challenges societal norms and portrays the complex relationships between the characters, including Violet's mother, Hattie, and the photographer, E.J. Belloc. What makes Pretty Baby stand out is its unique style, combining a period-accurate setting with a thought-provoking narrative that pushes boundaries. It's known for its evocative cinematography and the stunning performances of its cast, especially the young Brooke Shields. The film sparked debates about child exploitation in the entertainment industry and led to discussions about the depiction of minors in explicit contexts. Pretty Baby had a lasting impact on popular culture, contributing to the ongoing conversation about the ethical boundaries of filmmaking and child actors' involvement in sensitive roles. It remains a notable work that challenges societal norms and continues to be a subject of discussion and analysis in the realm of cinema. In summary, Pretty Baby is a thought-provoking film with iconic characters, a unique style, and a lasting impact on popular culture, all wrapped in a controversial narrative that pushes boundaries. In a scene from the 1978 movie Pretty Baby, actress Brooke Shields was provided with a G-string to avoid full nudity. This decision was made by the film's director, Louis Mal, to ensure that the portrayal of the character maintained a sense of innocence and authenticity. Shields, who had no prior acting experience at the time, embraced her unpolished performance, as she later explained in a 2018 interview with Vanity Fair. She stated, I was virtually untrained and just was in the moment. Louis had always said he didn't want a Lolita who was cognizant of her sexuality. He didn't want me to be slick or coy. This approach to her role contributed to the film's overall impact and remains a noteworthy aspect of Pretty Baby. This decision to provide Shields with a G-string and her untrained yet authentic performance added depth to her character and contributed to the film's lasting legacy. 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 Controversy and criticism surrounding the 1978 movie Pretty Baby in 1978. The movie Pretty Baby stirred up a whirlwind of controversy and criticism, primarily due to its provocative subject matter. Directed by Louis Mal, the film explored the world of prostitution in the early 20th century, particularly focusing on the life of a young girl named Violet. While the movie garnered attention for various reasons, one notable aspect was the casting choices. One, Tottenham O'Neill in the role of Violet Tottenham O'Neill, a rising star in Hollywood at the time, was offered the role of Violet. However, her father, Ryan O'Neill, played a pivotal role in her decision-making process. Ultimately, Ryan O'Neill made Tottenham turn down the role, which later went to Brooke Shields. This decision would have a significant impact on the film's reception and legacy. 
To source material and authenticity, the screenplay of Pretty Baby drew heavily from a book titled Storyville, New Orleans, being an authentic, illustrated account of the notorious Red Light District by Al Rose. This book provided first-hand recollections of the operations of New Orleans' infamous prostitution district, Storyville. It was known for its stark portrayal of the district and included numerous photographs of New Orleans prostitutes taken by E.J. Belloc, a character portrayed by Keith Carradine in the movie. This source material added an air of authenticity to the film's depiction of the era. Three, controversy in banning Pretty Baby faced a significant backlash upon its release. It was labeled as child porn by the cover of People magazine, and popular gossip columnist Rona Barrett also condemned the film. The controversy surrounding the movie even led to its banning in the Canadian provinces of Ontario and Saskatchewan. Brooke Shields, who played the role of Violet, defended her participation in the film, stating, It's only a role. I'm not going to grow up and be a prostitute. In 2018, when asked if she regretted starring in the controversial flick, she expressed her pride in the project, calling it the best creative project she had been a part of. Director Louis Mal vehemently refuted the child pornography allegations, stating, Anybody who calls it child pornography has not seen the damn thing. Nymphit and Lolita rubbed me the wrong way. In summary, the 1978 movie Pretty Baby remains a controversial and thought-provoking film that delves into a sensitive subject matter. It drew from authentic source material and sparked debates that continue to this day. The film's casting decisions and the reactions it provoked in the public and media landscape make it a significant part of cinematic history. Christopher Reeve's Superman over E.J. Belloc in 1978, when the movie Pretty Baby was in the casting phase, Christopher Reeve, known for his iconic portrayal of Superman, was offered the role of E.J. Belloc. However, Reeve declined the offer. He made this choice to prepare for his role as the Man of Steel in Superman, the movie, which was released the same year. This decision set him on a path to become one of the most recognizable faces in cinema history. Reeves' dedication to the role of Superman paid off, as the film was a massive success, launching him into superstardom. Meanwhile, the role of E.J., Belloc and Pretty Baby eventually went to Keith Carradine, who delivered a memorable performance in the film. It's interesting to imagine how Reeves' career might have taken a different turn had he chosen differently. In retrospect, Christopher Reeves' decision to focus on Superman proved to be a wise one, as it paved the way for a legendary career that extended far beyond the boundaries of a single role. Pretty Baby and Superman both left their mark on the cinema of 1978, thanks to the choices made by their respective lead actors. Louis Mel, the director of Pretty Baby, had seen something in Brooke Shields that he found both disturbing and moving and her portrayal of Violet in the film became a significant part of its controversial and thought-provoking narrative. Being narrative. Being narr controversial scenes in Pretty Baby sparked outrage. The 1978 movie Pretty Baby, directed by Louis Mal, stirred up controversy due to certain scenes, particularly one where customers at a brothel bid on the character Violet, portrayed by a young Brooke Shields. This controversy escalated when the film was released in North America and it was even banned in Ontario. Many people criticized Terry Shields, Brooke's mother, for allowing her daughter to star in the film. On an episode of The Phil Donahue Show, audience members expressed their outrage, shouting at Terry Shields, this is terrible, you let your daughter do this. In response, Terry asked them if they had seen the film, to which most admitted they hadn't, saying, no, I would never go see a movie like that. The film's explicit content and portrayal of child prostitution raised questions about its artistic merit versus exploitation, sparking a heated debate about the boundaries of cinema and the role of child actors in such controversial roles. In 1978, the movie Pretty Baby made waves in various countries with different age ratings. In the United Kingdom, it earned an 18 rating, signifying it as suitable only for adults. Meanwhile, New Zealand slapped it with an R18 rating, also restricting it to adults. However, in Australia, the film received a more lenient M rating, implying that it was recommended for mature audiences, but not exclusively for adults. Interestingly, years after her role in Pretty Baby, Brooke Shields pursued higher education at Princeton University, 
During her senior year in 1987, she penned a senior thesis titled The Initiation, From Innocence to Experience, The Pre-Adolescent, Adolescent Journey in the Films of Louis Mal, Pretty Baby, and Lacum, Lucian. It's worth noting that this thesis focused on a film in which she had starred, showing her academic exploration of her own filmography. Additionally, in the documentary The Outsider from 2005, James Tabak mentioned that he had a hand in an early draft of the Pretty Baby screenplay. However, the extent of his contributions to the final film and the reasons for his lack of credit remain unclear. Tabak also remembered Brooke Shields when casting for the film Black and White in 1999. Pretty Baby continues to be a thought-provoking film with connections that extend beyond the screen, from its diverse age ratings to the academic pursuits of its star and the behind-the-scenes involvement of James Tabak. As we bid adieu to the mesmerizing world of Pretty Baby, we find ourselves at the crossroads of nostalgia and introspection. This 1978 cinematic masterpiece continues to captivate hearts, and minds, serving as a timeless portal to a bygone era. With its delicate storytelling, evocative cinematography, and remarkable performances, Pretty Baby remains an indelible piece of cinematic history. Now, it's your turn to step into the spotlight of reflection. What are your fondest memories of this film? Perhaps it was Brooke Shields' astonishingly mature portrayal, or maybe you were enchanted by the rich tapestry of New Orleans in the early 1,900 seconds. Did the film's controversial themes provoke thought-provoking discussions or challenge your perspective on innocence and society? Whatever your connection to Pretty Baby may be, we invite you to share your thoughts and memories. Your insights and recollections bring the cinematic gem to life once more as we celebrate the enduring power of storytelling. Feel free to leave your comments below and engage in a heartfelt conversation with fellow enthusiasts. After all, it's these shared experiences that make the world of cinema so vibrant and enduring. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic journey and for sharing your thoughts. Your passion for film enriches our collective appreciation for the art of storytelling. Until next time, keep the reels turning and the memories flowing. Warmly, 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 warmly.